Hi, this is Zach Mir with a special edition of the Bulletin Board Heroes uh, here at Zach's Traders Cafe. It is the uh, top risers of the year to date and quite a few points to note here. The first is that many of the stocks here are stocks that which were formerly disliked or even hated by uh, many in the market. Lots of shorting uh, commentary and negative commentary as well. The other notable part here are the stocks that uh, have gone up even though very few people have heard of them. And the third category, which is the logical one here, is that one or two companies on the list, and just a few actually, have actually reached or are about to reach a major milestone, a fundamental milestone, and that explains why the shares are up. Obviously, in the case of Vast, uh, not a very popular stock before uh, the end of January, but uh, the big milestone uh, hit at that time. Companies raised money as well. Current situation is that we are, uh, I suppose, towards the top of the range. We've got a rising 50 and 200-day moving averages and are assuming that while we're above 0.6 in the 50-day line, which has been recent decent support, we could head up to 0.9 pence perhaps as soon as the end of next month or even sooner. Next up is uh, B90, which I think certainly falls into the category of a stock that very few people have heard of. Write in on a postcard if you know what the company does, etc., etc. But here the shares have been pretty relentless in their rise. We had the bear trap below, bear trap rebound from below the uh, September, August, September support around three and three quarter pence. Had an unfilled gap to the upside. One of our favourite signals. Obviously, there were a couple of gaps down as well after that. The turnaround came from an unfilled gap to the upside. And the shares have basically kept on going since then. Looking for 10 pence, hopefully over the next four to six weeks, which is a uh, one-year resistance line projection while we're above uh, 7.6 pence. But the lucky part here also, obviously, is that the turnaround came uh, at the start of the year, so therefore the percentage rise that bit higher. So lucky in that way. Another stock where uh, the bears have gone suspiciously quiet, and this is the enjoyable part, is Verditech. So uh, the shares... Basically turned around after a bear trap in uh, March and haven't really looked back from 0.5 pence. Very impressive, very steady rise uh, given the fact that I'm sure there'd be quite a few uh, slightly distressed sellers in there or people who want to get out and don't really care what the share price is. But uh, the current view is on a technical basis above 1.45 pence and that old March peak looking for as high as 2.5 pence perhaps as soon as the end of next month. Another stock where the bears have gone uh, rather quiet is uh, Chilled Brands. Uh, great to see the shares uh, turn around here. Well, you know, well done to all concerned. Here there was um, rebound again at the uh, right, almost exactly at the beginning of the uh, year. Hence the uh, big percentage rise, 200% up so far. Current situation is that we're in a uh, rising trend channel, which I'm about to draw, and that's been in place basically since well, the end of November. The rising trend channel has its floor around the 50-day moving average. That's currently around 5 pence, so above 5 pence, looking for at least 8 pence, and perhaps uh, a lot more given the uh, turnaround and that very strong charting pattern there, the uh, vertical move and then sideways, vertical move and then sideways as well, so pretty impressive. Give Inspects, the label of being the stock that uh, very few people have heard of. Don't see much about this on social media, which uh, may be a good thing. Broken above the 200-day uh, moving average over the start of May and looking for £1.80 as soon as the end of next month. Again, a turnaround that started at the beginning of the year. On to Codal, which was uh, always a private investor favourite, but then the big turnaround came in January. A fundamental milestone achieved, and uh, on that basis... We're looking for further gains to uh, be delivered, hopefully up towards the uh, 1.1, 1.2 pence area over the next couple of months, especially while we remain above the 0.7 pence zone, which I think, as you can see, has been the intraday support area for the shares. But 1.1, hopefully over the course of the early part of the summer. Fundamental milestone was at uh, Celadon, and uh, we've seen the consolidation since. That obviously happened in March. Uh, current situation is that uh, the initial resistance there around £1.40 has become new support, and we're hoping that that will remain in place. We've got the uh, golden cross buy signal that we had at the end of March, and then we've got the 50-day moving average hopefully turning up to uh, bolster the price action. Above 140 looking for not only 180 uh, but as high as £2.40 over the next two to three months once the uh, slack has been taken up and presumably 
there may be some more news from from the company. Uh, Hummingbird, a mixture of uh, a turnaround, fundamental milestone and a change in sentiment. Obviously, record gold price is not uh, doing the cause any um, damage either. Here we've got a rising trend channel, uh, which is formed after the break of the shares through the 50 and 200 day moving averages in March. So everything happened then. And looking for 24 pence as soon as the end of next month for the shares while they hold above the 15 to 16 pence area, which was resistance on the way down. Resolute Mining, another winner really from the turn of the year. Here we're looking for a share price as high as uh, 33, 34 pence. I suppose this comes into the cat category of being a, a stock which uh, very few people engage with or have heard of. And hence we've had a relatively straight move here, uh, especially while we're above 23 pence looking for that move into the mid 30s for Resolute over the next month or two. Um, I think hated uh, situation, the hated uh, label goes into uh, THG, a terrible time obviously uh, for much of 2022, uh, going below 40 pence. Very rocky ride in terms of the recovery there, that March uh, bear trap there below 50 pence, very, very painful indeed. And uh, the shakeout that we had last week, equally horrific from around pound fifteen to uh, uh, the uh, low 80s. Interesting that we managed to then uh, close the week uh, with the uh, low well above the low of Thursday after that bear trap below 90p. And uh, probably would say that uh, above 90p we're looking for a retest of that pound twenty area. Although obviously this is a uh, stock with distressed traders in there. So you can get those very, very volatile moves coming through. But uh, above 90 certainly we're looking for pound twenty in the main neckline resistance on the daily chart of THG. Just three stocks to go now. First is Ondo, which uh, nobody really uh, heard of or engaged with until it had its big news, which uh, came in last month. So that's a, a decent turnaround, which we're looking for, looking for to continue up towards the 20 pence area and certainly looking for that while we hold above the 12 to 13 pence zone, which uh, has come in as resistance and support of late for the shares, especially that 13 pence area. Sizzle Biotech, uh, one of the mo more painful uh, journeys here, where the shares came down from the 10 pence area at the IPO and uh, then went down to uh, below a penny, which wasn't very friendly. A turnaround came basically at the start of the year again, and uh, we're looking really to see whether the uh, consolidation will bring in support, hopefully. Uh, um, the current lows there just below three pence will be the final ones if you're looking for a new leg higher though we're waiting for a break of that resistance line and the 50-day moving average around 3.3 pence to then give us a move up towards five pence again over the course of the summer rising trend channel is something that maybe the uh, the bulls will be looking out to uh, play out over the course of the summer the rising trend channel something like that and that would imply that, say, six pence could be hit over the next two to three months while we hold above recent support just below the three pence area. Finishing off with Sound Energy, which took a long time to turn around. Very volatile situation as well. But the current position looking quite well poised. We've got neckline resistance around two pence above that. We're looking to 3.2 pence over the next uh, couple of months. Uh, but the weekly close above two pence, the big prize there. And ideally, support stays in there around 1.73 pence. That's it for me today. More updates during the week.